Now, in the previous session, we talked about how different data sources and different metrics lead to very different citation metrics across disciplines and career stages. But how do you actually get access to these data sources and, and how do you calculate these metrics in the first place? Now, that's where Publish or Perish comes in. It's a software program that's an interface to various data sources. Currently, Google Scholar, Google Scholar Profiles, Microsoft Academic, Crossref, PubMed, Semantic Scholar, Scopus, and the Web of Science, although the latter only for universities who are subscribing to this. Scopus access is limited to what Scopus offers for free. Publish or Perish was first introduced in 2006 after I applied for promotion to full professor and failed because I hadn't published enough in the top American journals. So in my next application I really wanted to show that despite this my work had had a lot of citation impact. But most of the journals in international business were not included in the web of science at that time. So I really had to rely on Google Scholar which at that time didn't provide citation metrics. And remember, Google Scholar profiles were not introduced until 2012. So that was the genesis of the Publish or Perish software. And before we go any further, yes, the name was absolutely meant ironically and was chosen for immediate name recognition among academics. It certainly doesn't mean that I support Publish or Perish culture. Now, initially it was pretty much a simple h-index calculator for Google Scholar. But fast forward 15 years and the software is now in its 8th version. It includes access to 8 data sources and it's used by well over a million uh, academics as well as lots of students in nearly every country in the world. Most recently we've seen a tremendous growth in uses by students in Indonesia for instance. It's used by the vast majority of PhD students there and a lot of masters and undergraduate students use it to find literature. Uh, the software is available in a Windows and in a Mac version. Now, Publisher Paris has many different use cases, not only citation analysis pro uh, providing dozens of different uh, metrics, but also um, literature reviews and bibliometrics research. In the screenshot, um, you can see how I've used it to find my own citation metrics in seven different data sources. I haven't searched in PubMed because I don't have any medical publications. So if you look closely, you can see again how Google Scholar provides far more citations and higher H-index type metrics than the other data sources, with Microsoft Academic not far behind. For instance, I have three times as many citations in Google Scholar than I have in Crossref or Scopus, and four times as many as in the Web of Science. But you can also use the software uh, for literature review using the keywords and title fields, and you can restrict your, your uh, search to recent years or to a particular set of journals. As you can see, the abstract of the publication is also shown, so you can use that to assess the relevance of your results. You can even export all the abstracts and do textual analysis if you want. I have used the software for quite a few bibliometric research projects in which I looked at the publications and citation metrics for different disciplines, like the study I discussed in the, in the third part of this presentation. But um, I also did a study on running the REF with bibliometrics only. I also used the Publisher Paris software in our own Middlesex University REF submission to find out, for instance, how many articles Middlesex had published in a specific set of top journals. So the possibilities are endless. And the software program has now been used in more than five and a half thousand publications. Unfortunately, fewer than, than one of four uh, in these articles included a formal citation to the software. Otherwise, my own, my own citation metrics would be much better. Even so, the software is my most published output in the data sources that do include it, which is only Google Scholar and Microsoft Academic. And this illustrates how different types of publications are covered differently in different data sources.